We take a dive and look at five really cool underwater drones. At number five, the Power Dolphin. I think this is one of the most exciting drones to talk about. It can move at over 11 miles per hour, it has 4K resolution, and it has a 215 degree dual joint camera, so you can see above or below the water. And oddly enough, this drone could be used for fishing. Cool idea, but I wouldn't want to catch something that's over a couple of pounds. To take it one step further, the dolphin has a sonar and a GPS system for underwater mapping. So if you want to go long range and go wireless, then the dolphin is probably a really good option for you, even though it's not technically a full scale underwater drone. The same company also builds the Power Ray, which is an actual underwater drone. And it can perform mapping and it also has a camera, but I personally think that there are better underwater drones for deep diving out there. At number 4 we look at one of the more affordable drones which is the Gladius. This particular underwater drone has been a huge success in fundraising. It can go over 300 feet deep and over 1000 feet away horizontally. So like most underwater drones there is a tether and it connects to a floating buoy so you can remotely control it via Wi-Fi. But the Wi-Fi range is really limited at just 100 feet. The remote connects to your phone so you can actually live stream and control the drone at the same time. So hopefully this drone can actually make it into full scale production because it is far cheaper than comparable drones, but we'll just have to wait and see. At number 3 we get into something that's really really expensive and it's the Blue Eye Pioneer. If you have a boatload of money then the Pioneer might be in your price range. So unfortunately this thing has a huge price tag. But its prototype is impressive and it features 4 control thrusters, auto tracking and even a 3 axis dial with an accelerometer. It can also handle diving up to 500 feet, so it's one of the strongest designed drones on the market. And just like other tether drones, it has an LED light, a 1080p camera and a controller which connects to your phone. So in my personal opinion, I think this underwater drone is just a little bit too overpriced, unless you want to go to the extreme depths that this thing can do. At number 2, the P3 underwater drone. The P3 is one of the higher end drones on the market. It can dive to over 300 feet deep, and it has a battery life of over 2 hours. And like most drones, it does have LED lights which have adjustable levels, so you can use it at night or in dark areas. The controller does mount to your phone, so it does live stream and you can see actually what your drone is doing. And it does record a 4K resolution, so it's one of the higher resolution drones on the market. So there's a lot of hype around this drone right now, especially when it was showcased at the Consumer Electronics Show. So we're just going to have to wait and see if the company can live up to its promise and make a true marketable product. So before we get to number one, I just want to talk about a drone which I'm a little bit skeptical about. It's known as the Beaky and there was a lot of hype around this drone. But it's proclaimed to be completely wireless and that's kind of what raised the red flag to me because I thought, well, Wi-Fi doesn't really work too well in water. And they do have a remote which works up to 33 feet, but once again, you're not going to be able to see where you're driving this thing. I guess the one positive thing is that it does have GPS and it can swim on a predetermined path. But like I said, if you're trying to live stream and go deep diving, I recommend to go with a tethered drone and maybe just hold off on buying this thing until it's a proven product. So finally number one, and it's one of the most innovative drones out there, the iBubble. So yes, this is another Indiegogo campaign which has made a lot of promises, but this underwater drone takes a whole different approach. The iBubble is fully autonomous, so it just follows you and it captures footage with a GoPro camera. It does this by tracking a bracelet, but it can also scout locations on its own. And to top this all off, you can tether the drone and control it through an FPV system at the surface. Now I personally think that autonomy is the way to go for underwater drones. So let's just hope that this company delivers this really innovative product. So once again, thanks for watching this short little video. Please like it if you enjoyed it or found it useful. And make sure to subscribe to my channel.